Hey guys, this is Johnny from johnnyfd.com and today must be the luckiest day in my life. It's actually my mom's birthday, so maybe that's why. But I got upgraded to business class while flying to Poland. Never had to ask, they just gave it to me. And I just checked into my hotel room. I booked the, the smallest you know, standard room and they upgraded me to a suite. Check it out. All right guys, let me give you a tour. This is the room. Right when I walked in, I can tell this is amazing. What's really cool, here's the first bathroom. Ash has a kitchen, which is amazing, because then I can cook breakfast instead of spending 13 euros. <laughs> Dining table. <laughs> couch number one. Couch number two. And what's really cool is this place is right on Neustadt, which is where all the bars uh, are in Warsaw. Like the coolest neighborhood. It's like a block away from everything. Nice desk to work out of. Nice big king-size bed. My favorite part, the master bath, the bathtub, and a separate shower. I'm excited for this. All right, someone's at the door. Must be my buddy Chris. Is it? Where's he at? What's up, <laughs> so it goes. How you doing? Good. Nice place. Guess what? What's up? Got a free upgrade. Why? I got okay. I got a free upgrade to the suite. Come take a look. What do you think? Sweet. Really? Sweet, right? And. I got free upgrade to business class too. Why? I don't know. Lucky day, buddy. It's my mom's birthday. Maybe that's why. Serious. <laughs> Sweet. Dude. Welcome to Warsaw. Fucking your hands wet. <laughs> Hi guys. So a lot of people have been asking, how do you actually get upgraded to business class on a flight or upgraded to a suite uh, at a hotel? So there are a lot of little tricks and, and tips, and I'll give you some of those, but then I'll give you the kind of the reality of it as well. So a couple of tricks that. Uh, increase your your chances is one if you dress kind of appropriately they don't want someone who's dressed like a slob uh, or looks dirty or you know has dreadlocks in general to get upgraded to business class because it might offend some of the other people that paid full ticket for the price uh, so in general if you kind of dress apart if you wear like a suit or even a dress shirt or uh, in my case I was just wearing like a, like a linen dress shirt it was so comfortable but it was a little bit more presentable uh, sometimes you will get upgraded if they are full anyways and they just need to rebalance the plane things like that uh, but the real way to get upgraded is if you just fly a lot with the same airline make sure you sign up for the rewards and even if you don't have even enough actual points to get upgraded sometimes they will see that you you know you're a loyal member of that airline and they might upgrade you anyways so i've only been upgraded twice um, the first time was from bangkok to taiwan I was EVA Air, it's a Taiwanese airline, and it was amazing. I, I had no idea I even got upgraded until I actually got uh, to the gate. And for that, it was simply because I had flown, um, I think it was Premium Economy, twice that month. And it was right when I first moved to Thailand, so it was uh, in 2008, during that first trip. And I was, you know, I bought a ticket, went to Thailand, loved it so much that I went home, sold all my stuff, three weeks later, came back to Thailand. Uh, if you don't know that story, read my book. It's called 12 Weeks in Thailand, A Good Life on the Cheap. You can find it on Amazon or at 12weeksinthailand.com. Uh, but I got upgraded just because I had thrown a lot and they, uh, during that month and they had saw this guy's a freaking traveler. Let me bump him up. This last time, it was I was the last person on the plane. I wasn't holding everyone back, but I kind of just waited around for the, the plane and board. And as the line was getting shorter, I just got in the back of the line. So it could be because they had to move people around and they were getting a bit full. So because I was towards the end, they uh, put me in business class because they had given away my seat or there were two people sitting in the back and they needed to load balance the plane uh, for fewer reasons. And, and so they had to put some more people in the front. So that could be a reason as well. They didn't tell me when I first checked in. So I'm assuming they didn't decide until I actually uh, was gonna board the plane. So that's an easy tip. So instead of trying to you know rush your way onto the plane, and to get to that big cattle call, just hang out, you know, relax, do some yoga, do some work on your on your phone, uh, and just you know, once you see the line getting a bit shorter, get in the back, and you'll have a chance. Uh, as far as the hotel, same thing. Uh, if you stay at the same hotels all the time, and you sign up for the rewards program, uh, even if you don't have enough necessarily to upgrade, uh, you can you know you at least have that track record with them. For me, this is the first time staying at this particular chain, so that definitely wasn't a reason. Um, I think I was just really polite to the guy, and he saw I had booked a, you know, I had booked a room with two beds, and he saw that I was alone. Um, 
that was, just, was the only bed they had left. So I'm assuming they were their hotel is super busy right now for you know whatever reason. So they had very few rooms left, and they wanted to keep a room with two beds for people that actually needed two beds. So he figured, hey, why not upgrade this guy to a suite? Give him a king size bed. He seems like a nice guy. He was I was dressed okay, and I was I was nice to him. So that is really it, you know. Anyone who tells you that there's all these you know, travel hack secrets, you know, buying miles or doing things, yeah. You can do that, but for me personally, the reason why you don't is because the same amount of time it takes to figure out all these hacks and try to feel entitled to getting something, you can take that exact same amount of time and just build a business and be able to just go for free. So technically, this room, that flight is completely free because it's all business related. It's all on my business card, so not only am I paying with it with points that I've, I've gotten from um, you know, making sales in my dropshipping store and having enough points to just pay for it, but it's also a business expense that at the end of the year it's a tax write-off because I'm flying here to meet with you know uh, business meetings and you know and clients and things like that. So if you have a online business, whether it's a dropshipping store, an affiliate business business, or you know uh, FBA business, whatever it is, it can be a business expense. So that to me is the best way to travel like a boss for free is just start an online business and you will never ever ever care if you're gonna get upgraded or not because you 